I'm tired today. Actually, when I first got here in the morning, I thought to myself, this is what it feels like before you get sick. Just a sort of an all over fatigue, lethargy, tiredness, yucky. I don't like it. But there doesn't seem to be anything more to it. So I'm guessing it's just uh, swimming causing that. I think it might just be the swimming. Anyway, another big class this morning. I mean, it gets bigger every day in the morning, which it has been uh, ever since I've been here. The morning class has been getting bigger. So yesterday it was in like 11 students, today it's 15. And uh, there are many more on my list that have yet to come. So, and these are new students being added to. And so the ones that are actually registered haven't even shown up yet. So it's a good sign. Afternoon class. Um, I had two students added on. So today I had five and then I had six, seven. Seven, six, seven. Yeah, I don't know who I have yet. But anyway, I had many more. Went from three to seven. Excellent. So, a few new students, a few returned that haven't been shown yet. So, that's another good thing. Then, a few minutes ago after class was done and everyone was going home, one of uh, my morning students who stays for the afternoon with uh, Nancy came over to see me and I was she she usually gets uh, a warm-up sheet because she comes uh, quite late in the morning after she after she's taken her kids to school and so on her daughter to school so she always comes late and so she can't do the warm-up uh, with class and so she's always just answering things and she's pretty good anyway so she really tries to catch up but um, for the last few months I have been giving her the warm-up sheet the night before so that she can uh, be ready to participate the next morning. So she was ostensibly here in this room with me photocopying um, be for that reason. But she said, Sandra, and she actually on purpose came into the room rather than usually wait outside like she usually does. And she says, she says, Nancy, I thought, oh dear. She says, she doesn't prepare for class. So for the afternoon class, she doesn't, well, I said, always? She says, well, these last three days, she hasn't. So, you know, she talked to uh, some of the morning students that don't come to the afternoon class and she asked them why they don't come to the afternoon class and she says that's why she says Benham goes home and studies pretty goes home and studies but, you know, they do other things they do stuff for this class but they don't bother coming to her class in the afternoon because she doesn't prepare anything she just wings it and um, you know that's not always the greatest so I'm no good at winging it, so I always prepare, and the students appreciate it. So that's kind of nice to hear. But there are plenty of other students in our class that don't mind it and that appreciate her style. So you can't, you can't just uh, take one student's opinion or you know, five students' opinions. <clears throat> it makes me feel better. Not that I pay much attention to the Nancy anymore, anyway. And I really don't appreciate the the digs that she gets in when she's talking to Pauline. Like Pauline's here um, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, and uh, Nancy always says, "Oh, and I do this 
this is and it's because task-based learning is so important and I do this because and she always it's her style of speaking she always qualifies and she always over explains and she always puts little digs in for what I apparently do not do when you know everything I do is completely approved of by my manager so but you know she bugs me what can I do should I take these home yes it's gonna be colder than anything tomorrow or should I just take the, the inserts home maybe just the inserts no no I need this it's Wednesday I need these for school okay cool so I'm going to put my fancy schmancy hat now, this hat really goes more with goes suits me more when I have hair peeking out from under it but I don't think I, this is my uh, debate with myself these last few days I've been thinking should I let my hair grow or should I um, stay with the short hair and I've been going back and forth because I saw I looked at a video of myself back in 2008 I think it was or something like that or nine and I looked so cute with my long red hair long curly hair but then that could be just that I've you know it's been like six seven eight you know a few a good four or five years and you do age and you have to be realistic I looked that way because I was younger. Do you think that could, could be? Do you think that really could be? Do you think that could be? I got my finger stuck. I love these things. But, no, when I get my finger stuck in it. Yeah. Oh. I really don't like wearing this hoodie under a coat. It's got a heavy hood. And that gets doesn't go into the coat, so I have to keep it up. No, it doesn't go into it this time. Alrighty, no drive home today because uh, I did that yesterday. Why won't this open? You should let me go up. Come on. Alright. Oh dear. Uh -oh. Now I'm in trouble. All right, folks, it's time to go home and get ready for tonight. All right. One thing I noticed is that Nancy never says goodbye to me. I wonder why.